beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed hallelujah our goal in this place is to bring people to a place of intimacy with the Holy Spirit to help us understand the structure and the operation of the kingdom of heaven Jesus left only one message with the body of Christ the gospel of the kingdom hallelujah the entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an attempt to convey the story and the message of a kingdom and no matter what we become, if we do not understand the system of God's kingdom and how it operates, my passion in life, aside from helping men experience the reality of the Holy Spirit, is to bring them into a comprehension of the structure, the operation, and the principles of the kingdom. This is what we do week in, week out. Hallelujah. There is a culture we are initiating you into. There is a way of life. There is a pattern. There is an understanding. There is a mindset that you are receiving. And our success, as far as this prophetic assignment is concerned, for this season, is only realized if you are actually becoming what we are praying and laboring that you become is that true hallelujah for as long as we have crowds and people keep clapping people keep falling down getting up getting messages traveling around and the messages keep spreading that is great but are you being changed are you becoming this this epistle that we are trying to carve and chisel praise the lord I told you that this is a school there is a long curriculum of the spirit and week in week out we keep examining different aspects of the kingdom so that we can come into a comprehension it's not just for you to have rema and say oh every time you stand give me this mountain there's a message like that no no or commanding result or any of these great messages you love the goal is that you become an expression of this thing hallelujah such that wherever you go you become an envoy hallelujah grace is granted unto you to begin to reproduce the things that you have learned acts chapter 1 said i write these things to you O excellent theophilus of all that jesus began to do and teach not just teach do and teach hallelujah i have spent my life helping the body of christ to understand that the kingdom of god is not a religious organization the kingdom of god is a system everybody says a system 
made up of a definite structure and when you understand the structure the operation and the patterns of the kingdom then you will be able to be a worthy ambassador god will now be able to empower you hallelujah praise the lord please get this i, I want you to i want to burn it into your spirit i want you to understand that this is what we are doing so that you can align yourself and you can have a reference from which to gauge your spiritual progress is that true if you look at where in november right now if you look at yourself from january till now how many principles of the kingdom do you know and understand that you can apply consistently to deliver results if all you have done is to attend the meetings very faithfully but you have not come into a comprehension a knowing a recognition and understanding of this thing that we seek to teach then our hearts are not fulfilled hallelujah it's very difficult for believers in the body of Christ to sit down and learn and understand the principles of the kingdom we prefer to receive we prefer pray for me lay hands on me cast the devil out of me do this and that you know prophesy breakthrough and do all of that and that is wonderful that's why we spend the last week of every month to minister to God's people because it's part of what we are anointed for but I needed to understand that our pride and our satisfaction is not that you honor the meetings every Friday so that we do not come and preach to empty chairs but that you are being transformed you are being transformed in a way that we are seeing hallelujah that's why every time I have the opportunity to bless my sweetheart the dear lady I love her so much because I have seen as little as this lady is this lady has had encounters with Jesus she has had encounters with different kinds of people as little as this girl is she would be in the midst of people who are maybe playing some ungodly songs and she will confront them and say Jesus doesn't like this this is this is a mindset are you getting my point so there is a training and because her mind is innocent she's not received any junk from the past so the work of her own right now is not renewing the mind her own is building and transformation are you getting me there's there's nothing that has corrupted and and spoiled the spiritual genes of her mind so it's easy for the holy spirit to be able to walk this lady will grow with this ideology are you getting me now and when she gets to certain levels you will see how mighty god will use her to her she's just playing she's a little girl she's just a lady who is passionate about jesus she has come to know jesus as a person she has come to honor the things of the lord there's one other little baby a prayer band baby every time i have the opportunity to come and pray with the prayer band when you come very tiny girl you just see great people praying and sweating and you see one very tiny girl also following them whenever people lift their hands you watch what they are doing and lift their hands too we call this a programming it's a mindset hallelujah if she walks consistently under that atmosphere that mindset will become a stronghold in her and no devil will take it away are you getting my point a stronghold is not a demonic word stronghold is whatever has held your mind captive so that you become its victim and if that becomes the word of god and the operation of the kingdom then you will begin to reflect christ by default hallelujah are, are you understanding me now so as as we seek to teach it's important you understand that we are not just displaying new revelations or attempting to tell you to see the progress we are making spiritually no no we are trying to unveil to open you up to the structure and the dimensions just like you come into a school system you come naive and a lecturer keeps teaching you and building you is that true curriculum course after course a time can come when you can turn back and say kai to an extent I understand what I'm studying how many of you don't lift your hands can turn back and say 
after years and years of sitting under the word, I understand to an extent, to the level to which light has been opened unto me, I understand. There are many of us that have failed to, to discipline our spirits to come into a comprehension of this truth. And can I tell you something? When you stay in the presence of God, you never go back neutral. You go back broken or you go back hardened. One of these two must happen to you. Are you getting me? It becomes dangerous when you are used to the atmosphere of God's presence. Because you will have that form of religion. So every time they raise the structure, you know it. Is that true? Every time they are talking about giving, you say, ah, I can even list the scripture. But the Bible says, ever learning, but never coming into the knowledge of the truth. And that becomes a dangerous thing. Have you seen people that every time you try to correct them, you can see somebody smoking. You try to talk to him and see how he will bombard you with scriptures. He will tell you, my reverend baptized me. Even me and my reverend, we drank the same beer blah 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 this and that happened and he will try to justify it is that true and he will tell you the bible says for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god and he believes that you are supposed to be convinced an ideology hallelujah we seek to transfer a mindset are you receiving that mindset is it becoming real in your life? Because the world will test your conviction about these things we are teaching you. Is that true? You will find people everywhere. This conviction will be tested in your relationship and marriage. This conviction will be tested in your academics. This conviction will be tested in your personal life. This conviction will be tested in your job, your business, your ministry, whatever endeavor. It's not enough just to know the word of God. You must submit to the authority of that word. He said, submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. It is only on that condition that you can resist the devil and he will flee. Please, are you learning something? So if after all of the teachings that we have been teaching and teaching and teaching, and let me use, let me use one lady, come. Hallelujah. If we have been teaching on the structure of the kingdom, look at me, and this lady carries herself alive and goes to chain herself in a very bad and ungodly relationship, what, what does that tell you? It tells you that this ideology has not become spirit and life to her. Is that true? Is that true? Are you following me now? If this lady wants to get married right now, if she has been listening to the truths that we have been teaching, she will now use them as the template, the platform that informs whatever decision she's making. Is that true? Do you understand? So based on that now, God can give us a thumbs up because we are not just doing religion. Somebody is receiving this truth, believing it enough to be convicted whether you are supervised or not. It has become your way of life. Hallelujah. So a non-believer can come to my sister right now. And say, see, let's go to a party. I have money. Is it not money you are looking for? And the lady can tell him, um, I appreciate your interest in me. But I need you to understand that I belong to a kingdom. And in that kingdom, we have values. Are you getting me? And it is not within the jurisdiction of that kingdom. Many of you are saying, I beg, Jare, they'll be social. Just go, will you die? This is what we are saying. You are not convinced enough. That's why you are ashamed of it. Anything you are ashamed of has not become a solid revelation to you. Is that true? So is this word becoming spirit and life? Have you been applying it? Did you apply it last week? Did it work for you? Hallelujah. If somebody looks at my sister right now, and says you are a very stupid girl and maybe three years ago she would just remove her shoe while he's talking and use the heel of the shoe and wipe the guy's face and say this is how stupid people behave you see that that would have been the way she would behave but right now there is a value system you are higher than this person in understanding 
there is a fellowship you have come into that grants you access to behave like Jesus Christ. And based on that understanding, the truth is you are human, so you'll be angry. But a scripture from the treasury of the deposit you have made in your spirit, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. That scripture now ministers to you at that point. And you can look at the person and just say, God bless you. And the person is wondering. Hallelujah. Or that you see another brother who is just broke and suffering. But you know this guy's destiny is going to change. It's just that it won't change immediately. The world is working. And they send some money for you. And you remember that the Bible says, Be good to all men especially to they that are of the household of faith and you have submitted to that word and based on that revelation without supervision you must not come and give a testimony and say i help this brother this is to let you know that i am making progress i'm applying what i'm being taught no not necessarily but that you can come to this brother and say my brother i decided to buy you one tier of rice one tier of beans, one tier of gari. Let it help you. I know the word of God is working. And by grace, I've been privileged to receive some supply and I'm helping you with it. Listen, brothers and sisters, if people see you and they do not see the difference between you and them, you are not a real Christian. And that difference is not tongues. That difference is not revelation. That difference is a culture. It's an, it's an atmosphere. Is a lifestyle. Is a walking. You have become so solid. When you joke, you joke the word. When you talk, you talk the word. Whatever it is, even when, no matter how boring you sound, you have no option. You are being reprogrammed. And you cannot undo it. This is what you must become. Some of you still use all kinds of bad languages. You have sat down here for over two years. You didn't delete them. You only created a folder for them. And when opportunity, because said, in this Nigeria, you need these folders. When there is need, you dust it and bring it out and keep people where they belong. No. Hallelujah. There are many of you who do not read your Bibles and you have never tried to. There is nothing wrong when you have a spiritual predicament. The problem is if you do not even know it is a problem and you are doing it and you are not making any efforts about it. Hallelujah. So are you following what I'm saying? If after all of these meetings now and then this lady comes, she has two boyfriends somewhere. One is to supply to bring supply beginning of the month this one the middle of the month then the real one that she's going to marry that she uses their money to help and support and she says wisdom even god knows. you see see look look at me listen listen please i'm not laughing listen let me tell you something if you truly want to be a christian be a christian are you getting my point if you think you're going to play pranks and tricks i want to tell you something the bible says do not be deceived is that in your bible it said god cannot be mocked that means if if you don't receive the recompense of that mindset you have mocked god and the bible says god cannot be mocked praise the lord some of you have been giving bad advices to friends Every time there is a need to do something bad, you are the one they consult. Bible study, they don't consult you. Prayer, they don't consult you. Should we go for night vigil or not? They don't even meet you. But when there is trouble and you want to corner something, they say, go and meet this person. They will arrange everything for you. There are some of you, you are like that. The way they look at you, you just look like a crook. When they want to do anything shady, they just say, oh yeah, come. Tell that guy he's five. You say, oh yeah, I know how to do it. See you must you must change and let people the bible says let your light so shine not before angels before men that they may see the bible wants men to see so are you being changed is your mindset being changed there are some of you that are nursing a lot of unforgiveness and bitterness against your loved ones. In spite of the teaching, we have shouted teaching on rapture, we taught on air time. What do you want us to say again to change your mind? Hallelujah. 
Some of you, even if we say Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow, you won't change. You say me. When, when Jesus comes, we will settle this issue. Whereas you know that that thing is just a cultural belief. When Jesus comes, he doesn't have time to waste on frivolities. You are going to hell or you are going to heaven. Full stop. Hallelujah. Are you being changed? That when they are doing malpractice somewhere, you know that you know how much you will do this malpractice and how it can help you. But you are constrained by your love for God. And you say, I'd rather fail honorably than do this malpractice. I know that there are many of us, you are looking at me, you are just saying, just keep talking, finish sharing the grace, let's get out of here. I know what I will believe and I know what I will not believe. Hallelujah. So if the word of God is not changing you such that unbelievers can begin to testify that there is really something about your life. A guy just walks into your room, wants to sleep with you and says, I don't like it. What is the meaning of that? Oh, I don't do this. Oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't like things like this. You know, the, the way I am. See, I don't want to be pregnant. Is that the reason why you are afraid? Or there is more? Praise the Lord. You sit down and you watch a film, a pornographic film. You say, I'm an adult. Please, don't have, nobody should make me a child. And you finish watching that film and you cannot look at the ladies around you and go in peace. You are now praying, fasting, saying, oh God, help the time you would have been using building in your spiritual life you just scattered the foundation and you have to start again praise the lord there are some of us who are together and you see a lot of friends they come with their car whether their father's car or whoever and they say ah bros are you going they are calling you bros and they are calling you to go and do something that is not of the kingdom and the pressure is mounting on you they are saying hi you now wow and the thing is pinching you. You are saying, okay, but I will come. I won't drink. I won't smoke. Can't you say no? The Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Teaching us to say no. Are you convinced that this word can make you a leader? And it can make you a great person? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we are achieving this, then I know that we are making progress. But if we are not achieving this, then sincerely speaking, before men, ministry may be moving. But before God, there is little effect that is, is being created. Hallelujah. Let your conviction about spiritual things be strong. I love the lady that said they brought somebody that was dead or dying and she laid, she laid hands on the person. Some of you will join in the shout, hey, hey, at least try. If you try and it doesn't work, no problem. But let it be that among the 12 people who were lamenting, you took a step and it didn't work, no problem. God will honor you for launching out to take that step. Some of you, when you want to pray, they tell you, please, oh, this is not the issue of prayer. Because you have not been doing it. When did you suddenly become a man of God? It has not been your lifestyle. You talk the way they talk. You do everything. Suddenly, you remember one koinonia message. You drank with them yesterday. Now you want to lay hands and they say, for what? I'd rather lay hands than you. We drank together. Be different. Be different. So different. That you are noted for certain things about the kingdom. And when there is a need to do certain things as far as the kingdom of God is concerned. You become the reference point. This is transformation. And this is what this teaching is all about. And then at that point, God will empower you to demonstrate the reality of that kingdom. You will manifest wisdom that is beyond the comprehension of men. God will bless you. Every time people see you, they know you are a leader. You must not have PAs and people following you. No. There is a culture. There is a way of behavior. 
They are sharing food. Somebody gets, somebody is very hungry. And you are not so hungry. And that's the last meal. And the Holy Spirit says, give the person and you are looking. I say, no, I'm not giving any. I came, I got my, you know, all these kinds of things. Bless you. While you're seated, you are going to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I don't want to waste my time. I truly want to see transformation in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I do not just want to waste my time listening to Rema upon Rema, learning, learning all the cliches, learning all the powerful words, learning all the vocabularies, creating a form of religion without a sincere passion. There are many of us who attend at least three or four programs every week but the fruit of the transformation is not evident in our lives we still talk the way we used to talk we still behave the way we still behave there is nothing that shows that there is a culture of the kingdom working in us Ancient words ever drew, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, oh, and words in power. ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words one more time. Ancient words have a truth. Changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Open hearts, oh let the ancient words be mine. Change me. This is always my prayer. Koinonia is about change. The symbol of koinonia in a man's life is change, transformation. 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 Let there be change. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach tonight briefly and then we'll pray. And voice of his presence. And voice of his presence. Praise the bread of life, Emmanuel, God with us, the one who saves. Praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away and voice of his presence Matthew 5 help us spirit of the living God he's the Holy Ghost 
Spirit of the living God, you're the Holy Ghost, scepter of the King of Kings, you're the Holy Ghost, seal of the age. And voice of his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All through scripture, we see that God's idea of the church or the believer has been to create an envoy that will communicate certain things that are in the mind of the spirit to the human race for every season hallelujah an envoy is is the highest governmental representative it's a governmental representative that is sent on behalf of a government on a mission an assignment hallelujah if we need to send certain people one of our brothers is getting married tomorrow and we're sending a few people they are envoys hallelujah whatever we stand to represent is what we want to see them promote there if we have a gift for the couple what happens we give them the gift and we trust them with that gift hallelujah with an assignment to go and deliver that gift hallelujah and there are certain people that God has anointed to be envoys of his presence. Carriers, distributors to infect territories with the presence of God. The power, the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to explore that understanding. Say after me, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an envoy. A representative I'm an ambassador mean it from your heart say I am an envoy hallelujah Matthew 5 Jesus himself taught us this in chapter 5 from verse 13 he said ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its sever with what shall it be salted he said it is thereafter good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ready? 14. One to read. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. He said, I am sending you as an envoy into a system that is characterized by darkness. Darkness in scripture talks of confusion, talks of death, talks of sin. Whatever does not have the charisma of God in it is darkness. And the Bible says, ye are the light. It didn't say you have the light. It said you are the light. Hallelujah. You are a city that is set not like a city. You are a city. You are being elevated upon a hill. He said you cannot be hidden. A Christian, a walking Christian, is not just one who has given his life to Jesus Christ. It's not just one who prays in tongues. It's not just one who is in ministry. It's not just one who avoids sin. Great. All of these things are great. It's not even just one who have rema. No. A Christian is one who has taken the mandate of the kingdom as a personal responsibility. He has come into the understanding that he's not just a son, he's not just a servant, he is an envoy. He has come into a place of kingdom responsibility. That not only have we received of God, but we have been mandated to deliver something. Hallelujah. Envoys of his presence. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible says, we beheld his glory 
as of the one of the only begotten the bible says he was full of grace and truth and everywhere he went the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost is that true and with power and he went about doing what he was an envoy of the goodness of god because god was with him he carried the divine presence of god and he demonstrated the reality of that divine presence he had a culture the bible says every time he taught men were astonished they said what wisdom is this what authority is this we have not seen this in this fashion hallelujah when jesus walked to you and you were sick there will be a dramatic demonstration of the revelation of the kingdom he went to bethesda and saw a man who had lain there 38 years the bible says he looked at him and he said uh, what did he even tell him what was the question again he said do you want that i'll make you whole and he said there is no man that would help me as soon as i want to move to the to the to the to the waters somebody else will jump into it and listen look at an envoy he said no problem in other words all this your grumbling is not necessary i have come chair up he said pick up your bed and go one minute a problem of 38 years dissolved in one minute that is the character of an envoy he steps into a place and begins to legislate on me. No grammar, no long story, the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Charles and Francis, hunter of blessed memory, great men and women of God. One time, they had so much of the presence of God upon them. They entered a meeting and there were people on wheelchairs and they start they, they didn't even tell any story no prayer no nothing they brought an atmosphere and a culture and they demonstrated this flawlessly 100 people they lifted them out of the wheelchair 100 and voice of his presence hallelujah when naaman was afflicted the bible tells us in second kings chapter 5 that naaman was the captain of, of 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 syria he was a great and mighty man the bible says but he was leprous and on account of his leprosy when they came and fought the nation of israel the bible says they took a little slave girl is that true and in the passage of time there was one strange envoy who was a seer who does not just go out anyhow the bible called him elisha hallelujah and the little girl told the captain he said oh that you would just follow me there is somebody i know who can help you and the man sluggishly said are you serious you don't know my situation hallelujah and cut the long story short they met the king and listen when the king was afraid nobody told elisha that the man elisha was watching like a television from his room and he said quickly tell the king why is your heart casted? Let him come and know that there is an envoy, that there is a prophet. This land is not barren. There are ambassadors who are alive and strong who will not let the powers of darkness lord it over people. God did not leave himself across this territory without a witness. He said, send him to come. And when he came, Elijah did not even go out. He sent Gehazi. He said, go and tell him it's a simple case. Go and wash seven times and go back free. Ah, that simple, an envoy is speaking. There is a backing behind him. Hallelujah. One time there was scarcity and Jesus, listen, Jesus was trying to teach the disciples the mindset of being envoys. And when the people had not eaten, Jesus looked at the disciples. He said, go and give them food. Come on now, Jesus. Ah, the disciples said, no, this is not part of our ministry. Our ministry here is to help you. Don't disgrace us here. There is no food. These people are plenty. Jesus was teaching them something. He said, every time you see people think of dispensing, don't just think of receiving you are an envoy wherever you go go as light study the terrain of darkness and solve the problem don't join in the sympathy 
Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? That you are an envoy of his presence. God has mandated you with an unction, with an anointing. Your rema will not help the world until there is a demonstration of the practical reality of the fact that God lives in a man. And the apostle calls it the mystery of godliness. That God can dwell in a man such that you see an ordinary man but he's not just ordinary he's carrying a backing that this earth cannot speak the man tells you you are blessed and all the forces of nature align themselves and make that word come to pass that's an envoy hallelujah there are many of our homes listen to me that are under demonic yokes there are many of our family members that if no one arises to help them, they will die. You are that envoy. God seeks envoys that he will send to different territories. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I've had the privilege of counseling people week after week. And oh, what joy fills my heart. The moment the people begin to come one by one, I am conscious of the fact that I am an envoy. And you see them coming and crying, Oh man of God, the devil has oppressed us. And I tell them, cheer up. I don't tell them, cheer up as stories. I don't tell them, cheer up as many men of God just comfort people without result. They say, don't worry. Uh, our Lord and God, no envoy. There is nothing that shows that you are an envoy darkness comes and the person goes back with that darkness we must contend for levels where if men meet you just once they will know they met an ambassador don't get emotional about this message and not do anything about it hallelujah the family came to me for counseling one of their sons had given the family a very big problem and when they came, I told them, I said, it's okay. This is the devil here. Hallelujah. In less than one minute, the devil is casted out. I prophesied blessings to the family. It was not up to two days. Their father bought a new car, an envoy. This is not trial and error. You have become a portal for heaven to find expression at every given time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that there is a dimension of kingdom assignment that has been committed unto you to be a demonstrator of the presence, the reality, the culture, the life of the kingdom? I vowed to God and I cried years ago and I still cried. I said, Lord, I don't want to be those many preachers with rema that cannot be defended. As a student, before you graduate, there's something called defense. All the stories you have been talking, you are going to stand and say it before people that matter. Is that true? They are going to give you a topic that you think validates you for graduation. Oh, Jesus is this, the same yesterday, today and forever. He can do this, he can do that. And they bring somebody oppressed and you are just looking and wondering. This is why we teach you these things. So that you will be equipped. Oh, I've had testimonies of many of our people and I've been so blessed. The destruction they are doing to the kingdom of darkness in their spheres. Some of them just went home. They had been waiting. This strike, as bad as it is, has given an opportunity for some people to arrange Satan in their family once and for all. They went home as envoys. Hallelujah. The koinonia teachings that we send by the Spirit of God, they go as envoys of power envoys of the presence of God that's why a lot of people have been touched that we may never see while we are sleeping the Bible says Abel though dead yet speak it for as long as the jurisdiction of our Christianity is just to receive get blessed find a life partner be very happy get breakthrough we will never be relevant as far as the advancement of God's kingdom is concerned. Are you listening to me? Unfortunately, this is 
what the congregation of the Nigerian church is predominantly made of. People who come to God with numerous problems, God solves the problem and they don't want any kingdom responsibility again. All they want is to sit down and let a great man of God keep displaying the anointing, keep doing everything and the people keep sitting there. Are you going to church? Yes, I'm going to church. You go. No. See, listen, brothers and sisters, no matter how much we love people, not everybody in this city is going to be able to come here. Are you getting me? Is that true? No matter how we love people, there are many people. Sometimes people send us messages and say, I wish, I wish that Koinonia will come and have a program or will have a program somewhere. And I tell them, who gave you our number? And they now say, oh, a brother somewhere. I say, go and tell that person to pray for you. Hallelujah. Take the step and fail honorably. God will bless you. If you are ashamed and embarrassed because of your ego, forget about being a champion in the kingdom. Many of you, this is what is stopping us. Hallelujah. My own blood sister did not have a job for a long time. I knew that this thing was demonic. I just have not been home for a very long time. And when I was going home, I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and I prayed with her. I told her, I said, she was trying to give me explanation. I said, don't worry. The explanations are not necessary. Believe me, I know what the problem is. And I prayed for her. And that was the end of it. Praise the Lord. She got a job in Benway State. When can you look at somebody, a barren woman, and say, madam, you are trying to come for koinonia. They are not around, but they have been teaching us this thing. And madam, will you allow me to pray? She will look at you and say, please, I want Josh. Please, I know what, I'm, I'm serious about this child. I'm not playing here. Don't come and play with my womb. No. You say, madam, just allow me to pray. And you stand and say, Lord, you are real. And I want you to demonstrate the reality of your kingdom. Some of you say, what if she doesn't give birth? Did you collect money? Did you collect money? You get into trouble if you collected money. Did you collect money? It's just say, Madam, let me pray for you. And some of you, for the first time, as you lay hands on the people, suddenly you will see a demonstration of the kingdom. And the person comes back and says, I have not slept in one week. That simple word you said, be healed. I have been sleeping like a baby. And then you know that the kingdom come in that environment this has nothing to do with MOG are you getting my point it should be your default life do you believe what I'm saying look at your loved ones brothers and sisters please look at me there are some of you in your families there is nobody who is born again be honest with me is that true you are the first person God brought out who do you think will go and change them somebody else there are many of you there are forces of witchcraft i went for a program and when they finished the program uh, some people just ran to me while i was counseling and they told me that their mother just broke her leg immediately the mother broke the leg some of the neighbors they said oh yeah get chicken get chicken quick i said what is chicken having to do with this broken leg they said if you want this leg to heal get chicken quick i remember one time my mother hit um, I think she, I, I don't know what happened. She hit, uh, is it a goat or something? And people, hey, stop. Say she look for one error. She must look for one error or something and put in the mouth of the, of the, 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 the bed or the goat or whatever. Say if you don't do it, ha. A time came, they came to dig a well in our house. They said, sir, we are finished. We need chicken. There's a way we do it for water to come out. You are the envoy that will stop that nonsense in your territory. A bishop in this country, a bishop in this country, baths his children with blood before giving them out for marriage. And one of his daughters called me one time and said, this thing happened to my elder sister. I know what is happening in their house now. The lady cannot give birth. What is all these things? And they want to do it. Bishop! And the man told her, you better come. Oh, this thing has been like that. That there are some people that are doing traditional Christianity. I hope you are. You, you, they are 
they are born again but enter their room there's one ancient arrow that they gave them and one jazz that they put in the bowl and some candles eh? and some ropes they don't use them but they have kept them when the going gets tough the tough get going they know how to go and pull it out many families have not totally divorced themselves from a lot of tradu cultural things there are still all kinds of witchcraft festivals and cultural activities that happen in our homes people are happy they are comfortable all kinds of devilish sacrifices are given you are that envoy that god is raising listen until your your christianity begins to confront the gates of hell you are still joking if your christianity has not yet begun to pose a threat to the gate of hell then you are still playing there are some of us ladies here nobody in your family gets married will you not be the first person to say not only will i break that i will break it first from my life and go back and release everyone that belongs to me from that captivity some of us is the cause of poverty right from wherever it has come to, even if you get job in presidency you won't be able to buy a bicycle why you will not explain because there are all kinds of yokes hallelujah and god is empowering you and sending you everywhere the lord grants me the opportunity to go and minister every time it's time for the ministration i just begin to feel happy for that ministry and that territory because i am coming as an envoy i know that there is a government that backs me and they that with me are mighty and strong everywhere the bible says he went he was doing good have you been doing good please listen to me and take it seriously Jesus said you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill say I am an envoy say it I'm an ambassador I have a mandate to take the presence the culture and the life of heaven to every sphere of influence if you are not doing this then you are not advancing the kingdom now look at me I want to show you a very big key and then we'll pray there are some of you that may say sir but sincerely i have been taking steps it's just that it has not been working how many of you belong to that category tell the truth you have been taking steps don't raise your hand if you have not taken any step i took a step i was bold i made an audacious statement at home i had to go back and cover my head with blanket don't be ashamed how many of us are in that category you've taken steps at least you've said something you prayed for somebody nothing happened but at least you did something let me see your hands listen to what i'm about to show you because you will be very surprised i want to activate something right now hallelujah praise the lord listen please look up it's one thing to know that you are an envoy of the kingdom it's another thing to understand the keys that govern the release of God's presence and God's power. I have seen anointed men of God get frustrated when it comes to the point of demonstrating what they teach. When it comes to Bible studies, when it comes to sharing the word, talk is cheap. But when it comes to walking in the reality and bringing men into that experience, this is where a lot of people become powerless. Why is this so? Because if the kingdom of God is all about sharing and teaching, there are some of us right now, there is even no need to be pursuing again because honestly, God has opened our eyes to deep things. But there is nothing as frustrating as talking without authority to work in present tense, consistently and continually. You come and say, every power in this place, we are going to pray. There are demons keeping people down and you are going to be released. And then at the end of it, you say, all right, I, I hope that this message blessed you. I hope you were motivated and challenged. And the sister said, ah, what about the oppression? You have been making me rejoice. 
Hallelujah. Or the man of God sees somebody on wheelchair and just dodges as if he didn't see the person. He say, yes, what did you even say is your problem? He say, my own is headache. He say, come, power. Brother, we must contend. Listen, we have not all arrived there, but there should be a, a passion in our heart that we will not stop until we get there. Can I tell you something? One demonstration of the reality of the kingdom will solve 20 or millions of talk. There, there are too much talkatives in the body. Habalists don't talk too much. They demonstrate. Is that true? A priest can be in a city. He cannot even speak very well. Yet the ripple effect of his influence and his presence is being felt. You do anything without inviting him, you will fail woefully. And then the failure will make you to come and visit him. And you say, it's not done this way. With this little lesson, let it be known to you that I may be in this coven, but I'm more influential than your community leaders. Many of us are looking for pulpit for people to feel the effect. Jesus did not have a pulpit. Stephen did not have a pulpit. They had presence. Everybody say presence. You don't need a pulpit to let people see the power and the glory of God. You don't need a ministry, a title. What you need is an undeniable presence that principalities and powers must submit to. Hallelujah. I don't know if the woman is in this place, but just permit me to share a bit of the testimony. A woman came to me for counseling and I was surprised. I've heard about this, but I've never seen it one-on-one. -on -one. Hallelujah. A woman who came for counseling, who gave birth to a baby. It was a still birth, but the baby came out with the face of a monkey and the body of a human being. Welcome to planet Earth where everything is possible. Why is it possible? Because there is God, there is Satan. Both are real and are walking. You are the only one who is left. You are not walking. Where that kind of evil can happen, that a spirit can create an imprint of itself and it will materialize in this realm. Where are the envoys? Where are the envoys that are represented across families? The Bible says... That in, in, Psalm, in Psalm 82, it was a summoning. God was summoning the mighty men. He said, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. He had to call them and say, what is going on? He said, you have allowed the earth. You know not, neither do they understand. He says, so they grope in darkness. The earth is out of course. Where are the people who are supposed to bring order to the earth? He said, have I not said, ye are God's? And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Where are the envoys? Some of you are only benefiting, getting blessed. The devil comes in, you open the door, he enters our families, wreck the lives of people, and we are just watching. Can't you pray? Where is your prayer language? Where is the grace to lock yourself and say, There is an envoy in this house. There is an envoy. The devil is trying to put your family under some kinds of things. Give yourself three days prayer and fasting and tell yourself you are contending to release certain things. But we have a bunch of lazy Christians. Who all they want is their personal comfort. Three days? Ah, Josh, if it was 6 to 12, I can manage. Everybody say, I'm an envoy. Say it one more time, I'm an envoy. Listen. How many members in your family do you want to see the devil finish them before you know God is speaking to you? I'm talking to someone here. How many people in your community are you not seeing the handwriting of Satan everywhere? What are you doing about it? There are families that don't tithe and they are dying an envoy. Have you ever gone to tell them, listen, the reason why this thing is not working is you are violating certain principles of the kingdom. If you tell them and they refuse, no problem. The Bible says, how shall they hear 
until someone be sent, until there is a preacher. Praise the Lord. I refuse to allow the devil have a field day in my family. Hallelujah. These horns that are judging the lives of people, judging destinies. That's why it gives me pleasure to pray for people. I can pray and minister to people with all my heart from morning till night. Because this is what we are anointed for. We are not just anointed to wear suits. We are anointed to do the works of the kingdom. And can I tell you something? This is the mandate of everybody here. To dislodge the gates of hell. I went home and my younger sister was telling me. She said, I've not slept for days. I said, I, I, what is all this one, my younger sister? And I prayed for her. I gave her communion to go and take. She said as soon as she took that communion, she slept in a way she has not slept in a long time. I said, this is a signature to principalities and powers. He is in Joss. Trace him with a spiritual GPS. He has come to Joss. That means the powers of darkness must bow. There are many of us that need to stand and say, wherever I go, the presence of God is there. And because the presence of God is there, there must be order in that place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able more than able To handle everything that comes my way, He is able, more than able, to do much more than I could ever dream. He is able. He is more than able. He's able to make me what he wants me to do. Now look up. I want to show you a very powerful key. For years, I prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity. And I found out that these people were not just healed. There were others that were healed. God was seen breakthrough here and there. But there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow. Every time I was praying for the people, I felt helpless myself. You know, there's a way you can pray for somebody. You know that nothing really happened. It's just that if you want to lie to yourself. There's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody. At the end of the prayer, even the person is looking at you. You know that nothing really happened. That was the situation. And many preachers can get comfortable and say, after all, I'm doing well. There are ministerial doors opening. But I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what is wrong? I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute. One minute. Hallelujah. I was in a crusade ground when I watched Reinhard Bonke with my own eyes. I was there for six hours. I helped to carry some of the people who were sick because I said I must get this anointing. He casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking, waiting for a command. And this guy jokingly, without sweating, blind eyes be open, deaf ears be open, cripples walk. I saw it. It's not that they told me somebody we wield i saw this thing they were lifting the person everybody was trying to touch the person to stand up i joined with my hand i said whether i'm contributing to it or not and this guy stood up and began to walk brothers and sisters it's not that i've never seen cripples walk but let me tell you there is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself hallelujah I saw blind eyes open. 
I saw a lot of things happen. I said, Lord, something is not fair in this equation. And whatever it is, I will go and find out. How can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open, command ears to open, and the devil is helpless at his command, and I'm here sweating over certain issues, and they are just not working? That means the problem is not from God. The problem is certainly from our end here. And I went and I began to explore. God wants to answer somebody's question right now. I want to show you a powerful mystery. Never forget it. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 16. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As you open it, just pray in tongues. Arise, shine. Your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you this is what will happen to somebody this night you will arise your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you you will arise your light is come tonight god will show you a key Glory of the Lord is real upon you. Prophesy to yourself one more time. I will arise. My light is come. And the glory of the Lord is written upon you. Sing it one more time. I will arise and shine. Arise. And the glory of the Lord and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me Matthew 16 Jesus showed us something powerful a mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous please don't trivialize what you are about to hear let the eyes of someone be open my God let the eyes of someone be open hallelujah listen now look up please verse 13 when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi listen Jesus had been walking with his disciples. Let me have two or three disciples. I am Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus, follow me. Jesus went everywhere with these people. Is that true? They watched him demonstrate miracles. They saw a lot of things. These guys were amazed. They saw the sea, the waves. They saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of Jesus. And Jesus said, Gentlemen, I always hear you conversing. He said, who do men say that I am? They see this mighty man doing miracles. And I'm sure they have been talking. Some have said he's fake. Some have said this guy may be one Belzebub somewhere. He said, who do they say I am? And the disciples were happy, verse 14. The Bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves and they said some say you are John the Baptist why because John the Baptist had been caught in the prison and they didn't see him some say you are John the Baptist some say you are Elijah because the Bible says before the great and terrible day of the Lord Malachi 4 Elijah the spirit of prophecy will come so you are that manifestation of Elijah and others said Jeremiah the weeping prophet who wrote a lot about the lamentations of, of the spirit of God he said oh you are just one of the prophets and then he laughed now follow me he said all right I have heard what they say you have walked with me you have seen me do miracles you participated what do you say that I am okay they say I'm a prophet fine they are wrong but you you saw the miracle they said it was fake 
But you, you were in Koinonia. You saw the demons. You saw them being casted out. It's not something that you watch on TV that you say it was. He said, in light of all that you have seen, what is your conclusion about me? He said, what do you say that I am? Listen. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ. The son of the living God. Next verse. And Jesus said unto him, hmm, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, son of Jonah. He said, For flesh and blood has that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood. If you ever want to walk in it, flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result. He said, This revelation you've had now, it is not by flesh and blood. Are you getting me? flesh and blood has not revealed it to you he said but my father which is in heaven listen peter you know why jesus asked them jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of christ verse 18 he said and i say unto you thou art peter listen and upon this rock what rock the rock of the revelation you just caught what is the revelation the revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity upon that revelation i will build the structure of my church that means for every time you will perform any activity there must be a revelation that you build upon otherwise the activity will just be normal are you getting this revelation in other words listen i can lay hands but the realm of the spirit will check what revelation do i know that activates the power over this activity if there is no revelation power will not flow it's a law in the spirit peter I see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding. It is upon this understanding I will build my church to function. That means whatever they have to do, they will first build on a rock. A revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out. Communion without revelation, powerless. Anointing without revelation, powerless. So I can lay hands. I tell you, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. In a very mighty way, Makatabosata, Zekete Rata, Mambroto Sobeka, Areke Talata Poka, Reposo Tobariata. He said, I will build my church upon a revelation. When you get this revelation, you will step into a realm where you become an envoy. listen 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 to me the bible says a time came when peter james and john who became the pillars of the church they went with jesus is that true to the mount of transfiguration and the bible says listen we were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture the bible says they brought an epileptic patient everybody watch come sir they brought an epileptic patient now it was the turn of the disciples to heal is that true the bible says they kept doing everything that jesus did exactly but nothing happened is that in your bible they did exactly they saw jesus doing everything they did it the guy didn't get healed and when jesus came down with three of the disciples he saw his disciples struggling that was what grieved his heart he said until now because he knew it was a law it would have happened without him anyway and the bible says he looked at the boy he says since when did he have this condition and they said since he was a child he throws him into the fire throws him into whatever and he said i believe help thou my unbelief the father said and the bible says jesus rebuked 
a deaf and dumb spirit out of him and the bible says the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead people thought he was dead and they picked him up and he got up he was sound the disciple said in one minute we did the same thing what did you do differently is it not the rebuking we also rebuked we rebuked him we were tired power did not flow i'm showing you the key why you have not been seeing the move of god it's not about cramming the words i use you will say the same thing and not see anything there is a secret hallelujah many people think it's about talking like the man of god or dressing like the man of god or reciting what the man of god is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters when jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met jesus listen the disciples say ah, ah why couldn't we cast out the see when you are studying your bible when you see jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and jesus said because of your unbelief very simple like that because of your unbelief then he says however this kind goeth not but by fasting and prayer hold on so he told them the problem was unbelief and he told them to remedy unbelief part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer when you fast and pray something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe listen just follow me i want to establish something very very powerfully when jesus did that listen a time came when jesus now said all right guys i have tested you a while he said go in my name go not everywhere but to the lost ship of israel go two by two listen now it was their turn the bible says they went they were all fidgeting and they now looked at somebody and said in jesus name suddenly they saw the demon obey they said ah this thing is working oh they tried it again they saw that it worked they didn't even know what was happening and the bible says they returned rejoicing and said finally even they said even the demons were subject to us in thy name jesus said uh -uh, you have not gotten the point don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you rejoice because your name is you know is written in heaven and so on and so forth and then a time came listen jesus said as my father has sent me he said so send i you hold on it's not just saying nature there was a way i walked in the earth there was something that made those miracles to happen he said now i speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles that means listen please for every time you carry out a spiritual activity and it works let me tell you what happens in the spirit there is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross checks whether you understand what you were doing or not if there is no revelation that backs that activity power will not flow are you getting my point the sons of skiva they call that man they say we adore you the demon said not so i am seeing you in the spirit your house is built on sand where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon i do not see any revelation for that reason i will not go listen brothers and sisters do you know the power of this communion that we take people just take communion oh he's blessed and we take and nothing happens but the day you step into the revelation of what it can do the power of God will change that communion to the literal blood and body of Jesus Christ and it will answer in your body at once there are many Christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation and the bible told us about those people he said there were two people that built one built on a revelation a rock is that true 
another belt on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many christians is is not working they humiliate themselves pray for hours and wonder why things don't happen what rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon what is the revelation that granted you access based on what did you prophesy to that brother and say in the name of jesus doors open what was the rock that supported that prophecy hallelujah when david was about to defeat goliath he knew that he cannot make empty noise and he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name there is a name i know there is a covenant i have there is a revelation david and goliath on account of my covenant with jehovah i will take off your head and i know the power will flow and god said that is it you have gotten the equation now you bring out the sling how can an ordinary sling kill a man a revelation produce power envoys of power this is why you see all these things that are happening happening it will happen every time forever it's like a switch when you know how to turn it on you become an infant of fire so you enter anywhere you are an envoy you know how to compel powers to bow you know what to say to make them answer you you know what to say to make them leave you know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness There is something you must know there are many preachers who preach they listen to a man of god's revelation they copied it and they are pasting it they preach a message that is supposed to bring healing but healing does not happen they preach a message that should bring breakthrough but breakthrough does not happen take your place 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 Call his name Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. Hear me. When I caught this revelation, I was excited. And the first time we had the opportunity to organize our crusade as a ministry, it was now the time to put this in practical proof. Hallelujah. And in that crusade ground, there were sick people. There were all kinds of oppressed people. And when we began to see the power and the glory of God, I said this thing works it's not a lie the fault is not from God there is a fountain you can become a walking dispenser of the kingdom 
a dispenser of power when men shake you something will happen in your life because you are full of the word for everything there is a revelation even when you shake people you know that you are a blessing so that revelation will force something to get into them this may be the missing link behind your praying for the sick you have laid hands but you are just copying light has not come upon you there is no unction that supports what you are doing Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. of your soul follow them not him them them a congregation a people who believe God enough to know that he's not playing when he says all power belongs to him he means it we are going to pray I like you to pray and say Lord something in my spirit that will cause light to enter me i want to begin to see fruits come on now pray koinonia this is not how you pray i want to see prayer warriors i want to see men of
Every demon power, hear me, every power, every yoke, right now, in the name of Jesus, come out of God's people, right now, come out, come out, come out, now, every force, every yoke, every spell, inside and outside, I challenge you, go, I command you every yoke that has tied you down, every yoke that has tied your family down, every curse, every protection, let them pray, pray. There is power. There is fire. There is Envoys of power, envoys of grace, men of dexterity, men of authority, men of audacity, confronting grace, confronting territory, without fear. Hallelujah. Sheka parakataba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. What many of us need is an unction from the Lord that will suddenly make the things you read become alive. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of revelation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it inside and outside with all your heart. It's time for you to begin to walk as an ambassador. Hallelujah. I'm going to count three. And at the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout, something will come upon your life. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, 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 receive it, the spirit of revelation, outside, take it, outside, let it come like fire, eyes, be open, yes, be open, let the spirit of faith come upon you, Take it, faith to believe, faith to believe, faith to believe. Command miracles. Let blind eyes be open. Let deaf ears be open through your hands. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you bless is blessed. When you speak, your words are backed up by an authority that is not of this realm. Your voice will be like the voice of God. 
your voice will be like the voice of God. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you stop will stop. Whatever you bind is bound. Whatever you lose is loose. and voice of his presence I pray for you from today let the manifest presence of God let the angel of his presence begin to walk with you that everywhere you go you don't need to tell men you are anointed there is an angel of his presence that will go with you sinners will break down when they see you devils will cry out without you casting them i proclaim upon you from tonight you become an envoy of power an envoy of his presence an envoy of his glory under the apostolic unction i command as touching the grace given to me if i be sent of god let this mantle fall on as many people. And voice of power. And voice of power. And voice of miracles. And voice of wisdom. And voice of breakthrough. Go and command breakthrough. Go and release your family members. The cause that has kept them. Go as a savior. Go and command marriages. Go and heal the barren. Let the barren be healed. Go and raise the dead. Go and raise the dead. Go and cast out devils. Prophesy business breakthrough to people. Prophesy career breakthrough. Your words carry power. Your hands carry power. Here at Koinonia, I stand as an apostle of God and I proclaim my God the same power that backs me let it back your people the same authority that backs me let it back your people Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. The journey of my life, listen to me please, has been a journey of progressive walk with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me please. Exactly a month ago, hear me, I was sleeping and the Spirit of God woke me. He said, it's time for you to step into a new phase of the anointing and a new phase. I always see it. I see a military man in the Spirit and then a batch is added. And the Lord says, there are many more responsibilities and there is an anointing. And I prayed, I said, Lord, you cannot just be empowering me alone. Your people need to walk in this kingdom power and all through the Lord had been brewing it in my heart 
And the Lord kept telling me, it is my desire. Let your people believe me enough. Moses said, I desire that my spirit will even come upon everybody. My greatest desire is not to be one invincible man of God. No. But that there will be people. And you are these people. To spread across. Hallelujah. And from the time the spirit of the Lord told me this. I knew that he increased the anointing upon my spirit. And he measured a thousand cubits. You can know. You can see a man that walks with God and say this is different. Something has changed. A thousand cubits. And this is why whenever I receive it. I make sure that everybody is a partaker of it. If you don't walk with it, it is not my fault. But in the days to come as we prepare for next year, you will see things that will surprise you. When you are faithful with the level of grace that God gives unto you, and you are diligent, you will know, and everybody around you will know, when something a thousand cubits has been measured again and there is a rise this is why I worship him brothers and sisters don't get emotional about this meeting alone and don't get arrogant over the anointing you have received listen authority in the spirit is for you to go and be a blessing not to go and build an empire do not emulate these wrong things men of God try to bring to the body of Christ to make it look like there is one superstar. Let me tell you, every one of us have been anointed and called, whether in business, whether in education. These anointings are not just for healing the sick alone, but opening people up to dimensions of the Spirit. And if you do not use this and you let it dormant, it will dry up in your life. He said, my help comes from above. I don't know where your own comes from. But my help, my help, not our help. I lift up my eyes to the hills because that's where kings live. And in every hill and every palace, there is a system of protection. But uh -uh. This, this situation defies the help that comes from the hill. It says, my help cometh from above. Cometh from above. Cometh from above. Sometimes when God wants to step in and help you, he keeps quiet while everyone mocks you. Because mockery gives God glory. He allows men to vent their foolishness. And he says, are you done? He says, now let me show you what happens when the creator of the ends of the earth decides to step in as a man if i like you there are privileges you can have when god gets up and dusts himself from his throne and decides to visit your case even you you will be shocked are we together now that god can turn again the captivity of men i told you we are reading three scriptures scripture number two Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5 Habakkuk chapter 1 ah my spirit is fired up oh God wants to visit somebody Habakkuk chapter 1 behold ye among the heathen notice that the heathen must participate in that process for God to be glorified he wants them to see he says and regard and wonder Marvelously, for I will walk a walk in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told you there is something I would do that even you, the recipient, the only reason why you believe is just because you are the possessor of it. But ordinarily, <clears throat> I will walk a walk in your day. There is something I can do in your life that I can do in your family that you will sit back and say, my God. God has done a few things in my own life that even as a man of faith, I've had to sit down to say, God, I fear you. God did something in the Red Sea that made Pharaoh look and say, this God, he is God. 
God did something in Babylon that made Nebuchadnezzar. He wrote a decree. Not to the people, to God. Turn again, captivity. I will do a walk tonight. I will change things. Your prayer point of years. I will so answer it in a way that you will say, Lord, even if you answered it longer, I would still be grateful. But what, what is this? And God says, I did it suddenly, lest you think I am so weak that it will have to take a long time. <laughs> Last scripture. Isaiah 41. Ten solid verses we are going to read. Ten to twenty. Isaiah 41. God is turning things around. Turning things around. Turning things around. When your clock refused to move, you fix it. Because it was supposed to move. And if your life has been brought and tied to time, then like the clock, the clock is a revelation of how your life must move. When clock stops moving, you fix it or throw it away. If your life stays in one place, it's a mockery to God, is a mockery to you, is a mockery to all who are connected to you, that your life, like the clock, must turn. 41 from verse 10 to 20. Fear thou not. This is a word for somebody. For I am with thee. Yes, in the midst of the pain, the disappointment, I am with you. The threat letter, I am still with you. A man gave a testimony, I think it was just something to encourage you, but I'm not sure it's a real story. But he held the hands of Jesus from that story, I'm told, and they were walking together in a desert place. And then he got to a point where he noticed from the vision or so that there was just the footprint of one man alone and then in the end of it he turned and told jesus he said why did you leave me we i there were four footprints but i got to a point where i saw only two and jesus told him that was when i carried you the footprint you saw was not yours it was mine i knew that your strength had failed you in that desert so i carried you while you were crying not knowing you were carried on the wings of eagles you wouldn't have survived it fear thou not do you know why god starts by telling you fear not because the truth is that life can make you fear no matter how bold you are the speakings of men versus the obvious results that you see in your life or lack of it it can shake even the boldest of us and he starts by saying fear thou not for i am with you he said be not dismayed another word is disappointed he said for i am thy god i will strengthen thee yea i will help i will help thee i will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness we are reading to 20 11. behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded he said they shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall do what? That's where I got the scripture that anyone that fights you goes down instantly. It says, all day that... Okay, let's, let's just read 12. No, no, go, go, just, just go back to... Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a thing of naught. That's it. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not. Why? Because I will help thee. Don't trivialize the help of God. Don't, when God tells you, I want to help you, rejoice. When God says, I want to help you, it's the same thing. Um, this guy is locked up here. He wants to come up, but this is stopping him. And I say, I want to help you, meaning I am stronger than him, meaning I know something he doesn't know. I want to help you. He says, Fear not, O warm Jacob. 
Jacob, you are weak, I know. Why does he call Jacob a worm? It's not an insult. It's a description of your frailty. Fear not, O worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, reading to 2015. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small. Thou shalt make the heel as chaff. Thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. 17. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for tears, read it with me. I, the Lord, stop, stop. When the poor and the needy when they get to a point where there is no hope of deliverance by them strength they know that by themselves and their strength they cannot bring deliverance the bible says i the lord will hear them i the god of israel will not forsake them 18. i will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys and I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make it. I will make the wilderness a barren life. I will make the wilderness a pool of water. I will make a destiny that has no business flourishing. A pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Two more verses. 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shatter tree, the mitel, the oil tree, I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together, fruitfulness, 20, the last verse, that they may see and know and consider or wonder and understand together that the hand, take it higher for me, sing me that song. Take it higher, 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 guys, be sensitive. That or Lord Bagwaroso. Sing it just one time. Oh Lord Bagboro is turning things around. Oh Lord understand together that the hand of the Lord had done this and if it cannot be done the Holy One of Israel had created it to create means to make out of nothing what needs to be moved should be moved what needs should be brought to be brought what is not there should be created 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 carry carry a a potato wrap it somewhere make sure that there's no air there's nothing leave it there for a few days in spite of the fact that there's no air it will still rot and when you open the rot, you will still see worms inside. How they got there is a miracle. That's the same way no matter how the enemy closes every access. 
God says, when did I start needing a runway? When did I start needing ladder to come to the earth? When did I start needing a loudspeaker for creation to hear me? I am creator. When God speaks, it doesn't matter where it is. Even if the bones in the valley of Ezekiel are under the earth, when his voice comes, echoed by the voice of the prophet, the Bible says, bone came out. Listen carefully. If you don't believe what I'm teaching, you are wasting your time here tonight. Take your eyes away from the mountains and say, Lord, you are going to recreate my life. There are things you will have to turn tonight around for me like the streams of the Negev. When you read further, it says that those that, 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 that sow in tears will reap in joy. He didn't just say those that sow money. You can sow prayer and he told you the prayer to pray. Turn again my captivity like the streams of the Negev. In the last few months, I have been so passionate about calling forth the creative power of God to assist men. I am learning afresh again after many years that God can help men. No matter who you are, if God does not assist you, start crying because life will beat you down to your knees and veto whatever you think is a basis of confidence. He said some trust in horses and some chariots, but we, there, is, there are a group of people that would trust in the name of our God. I trust God tonight to change our lives. I trust God tonight to move in a way until it marvels you it is not yet a notable miracle. Scattered here tonight are men and women alongside the challenges and the obstacles that mock God in our lives. We have come from far and near. Many of us made tremendous sacrifices. The question is, do you believe that this God that we serve that this God can choose by his wisdom and by his love and mercy to visit a family to visit a man that God looks at you and says I have decided to come to you I've decided to hold your hand I've decided to lift you I've decided to give you a testimony God comes to a beloved sister and says my daughter they have laughed at you. Now they are ready to laugh with you like Sarah. I have come to uphold you. I have come to wipe your tears. I have come to prove to men that the rejected stone can become the chief cornerstone. You are called of God, but it's as if you are not called. No anointing, no results, no testimony. No one placing a demand on your grace. But something happens to you. God says, I'm coming to assist you hold my hands. God assists us by asking us to give him our hands. Do you know why? Because until your hand is holding him, he cannot move. You see, let me tell you this. Your hand holding him is proof that you trust that he will move. When your hand is still busy trying to walk it your way, you don't qualify for his help. When he wants to help you, he says, place your hand upon my hand and you are now going to use your faith from hence, not your hand. Let me be the one using my hand to clear the way let me be the one to make a way in the wilderness let me be the one to make pharaoh give you gold i can give you gold by creating but let's make a caricature out of pharaoh pharaoh you are the one who will give that gold there is a name god is called the father of spirits understand the revelation behind that name every human being is a spirit he resides in a body but God is the father, the author. Every spirit hailed from him. It was out of his spirit that every spirit came about. And the Bible says he is the father of spirits. Meaning it is within his power to manipulate every human spirit to cause his purposes to come to pass. Any and every. I spoke to a man this morning before leaving. Um, very touching the man stood, he had been trying to see me and then at the airport he was there with his children and I looked at the man, all his children. One could not pay his school fees for four years. Final year had written his last exam but because of school fees, they are taking him back to 200 level because he couldn't pay. 
the poor girl, the daughter was there, the man was there standing, and I said, this is the signature of Satan. When Satan comes to your life, you can know he has a signature. He will stamp it on your family. Do your worst. He will stamp it on your destiny. Do your worst. Stamp it on everything around your life. And when God comes to, he will use his hand and erase it and said let me put my own and see who what devil will come to take it out of you i prayed for that man with all my heart i prayed for him passionately in that state of poverty and penury the children and the man they put together a seed i, I, I said can i ever accept this i i collected the seed i prayed with all my heart and then i said look i i place favor may your seed become a tray let me put something upon it for you it's called the favor of god go back with this anointing and let it turn your life around that's the works of darkness some of us are seated here right now our loved ones are in such kind of chaos satan when satan does a thing you don't need to ask who did it he does it so clear that men will know is his finger please don't confuse the works of darkness with the works of God the works of darkness is darkness the works of God is light that's why we're here to disagree with Satan and insist until we see his power prevail over our lives is God speaking to us tonight the captivity of Zion the captivity in your family the captivity in your life what is that obstacle that stands before you on the next level you see it but to touch it it looks like there is a resistance there is a limitation we are going to pray are you ready to pray tonight and then i begin to minister to you by the spirit oh god turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked lift your voice and cry Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. In Pacatostica Paragade, Zacata, in Tap, Breteke Patabacata Baregadibo, in Pata Pretes Teke Patagadabosa, in Prekete, Zacata, Rekete, Rekete, in Pacatosica Pata, Rekete Balagadash. Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. what must live your life tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even not i'm not talking of I'm, i said interview seven graduates no one called for interview and the gentleman according to what he sent me 
he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream i came and i prophesied it was like a koinonia service i laid hands on him and i mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now i don't know whether or not they have given him the job i don't know that part but that's god at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you this god bar let me tell you when god decides to help you don't tell him how he would do it your ways his ways are higher higher than our ways his thoughts higher than our thoughts when when you see it's an act of faith to let god choose how to surprise you yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you you may be asking god for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you lord one cup of tea and i'm grateful and god says no if i give you a cup of tea man can also give you let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me are we together three things i want to tell you we'll pray one more time number one god can act very fast he looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries um and on, on a, a, a national geographic channel and then they were showing how these animals all these these sea mammals how they eat one another and sometimes with lightning speed a giant creature can in fractions of a second just dissect another animal and i said wow so don't be deceived by the weight that it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow that your god is mighty that heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you he can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth god we're talking god here number one god can act fast so that you don't limit god and say lord i know you will act but um no problem no number two listen very carefully God can surpass your wildest imagination. Now, it's difficult to understand, but you must believe it. God can surpass your wildest imagination. He can. He can. So that it's good that you bring your petitions before him, but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you. And then number three, satan and all the limitations that stand before you listen carefully have been defeated not will be defeated have been defeated what happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory It's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact but it's true because it came from the mouth of god himself that it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce so that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you and now begin to ask yourself questions but how will god do this promise how is god going to do this if god does it this way there's already a blockage here if god follows this way it will have to be five years before it happens if god uses this method my uncle already hates me and god says you only gave me three methods i have methods as infinite as my names i can use anything i can use a fish to give you coins i can use a donkey to speak to you i can use a bird to bring you bread it doesn't always have to be men it just has to be material bodies i can use anything are we together so tonight as we pray why are we here you have to understand number one we are here 
we are here to clear the way the forces remember there will always be forces that contend against the word of god we are here to challenge them because most times those forces stand our way they contend with prophecy when the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes number two we are here to allow the anointing of the holy spirit to produce possibilities in our lives the anointing of the holy spirit is his force is his instrument for producing change he creates by his anointing it is his word but that word must be anointed are we together now the word of god without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody could not bless anybody the word just roam around the streets of nazareth but when the word became anointed it became christos the anointed so the word of god is coming to your life i want you to be very sensitive whether it is the prophetic word whether it's an instruction to pray whether it is the deliverance session don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that let your heart connect be angry there is an obstacle for sure you go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you you get up and say it's all right how can it be all right if it's all right who invited them to your life good things about to happen to you all of a sudden your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you and they give a bad word that closes your door recycles your pain again then for many of us what you need is that the anointing of the holy spirit will call forth the men the men component god helps by bringing men god can agree with you men can disagree you will still suffer god agreed for david to become king samuel refused david remained in the wilderness until samuel agreed men can stop your breakthrough it's not just demons men can stop your breakthrough and not all men are castable there are men who are gates even though they are hedonistic god doesn't cast them he gives you access to their heart when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies there are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates are we together lord i'm ready for you tonight lift your voice and pray Lord, I'm ready for you. This is my family. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah, say hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the Hallelujah.
do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen in here outside as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you as you come out here begin to rejoice because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabala kato sabada siata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. 
there are chains over you living now there are chains leaving you now I'm ministering by the spirit there are chains are leaving you now even the lawful captives kabarakatos chains i'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men chains be broken the worship team already prepared our hearts i command the chains to be broken by the authority of this kingdom be broken kabarakatos be broken be broken be broken be broken i'm commanding chains to break bring them out the anointing of the spirit is breaking chains overflow one two three online chains chains of captivity all kinds of bondages every force of darkness it's time for you to go it's time for you to go release their destinies Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray. That if there is anything that is demonic, responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now. Because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said the, a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now, Shantakatosh. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment. On the forces fighting your advancement, I command judgment 
on the forces fighting your advancement. Over 1, lift your hands, please. Everyone in Overflow 1, lift your hands. The Lord is ministering to me. Overflow 1, lift your hands. There is a mighty deliverance that is coming there. At the count of three, Overflow 1, I want you to shout Jesus. As you shout Jesus, I'm seeing gates with chains breaking. Are you ready now? One, two, three. That lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady but in the spirit I'm watching I'm not saying you're a bad girl my dear all I'm seeing is a serpent I'm not seeing a human being in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I expose that serpent now glory to the father Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be judged, be judged. No rest, no peace. Be judged. Snakes. Be judged. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing fire. Not impartation. Fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please restoration 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 I command restoration of every lost glory even the lawful captive shall be delivered all those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one Two, three, go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus. Out of their lives, 
when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again victory by the blood of the eternal covenant victory by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here and I'm seeing that the father in that family I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house you may not even know it this is something that happened a while ago and whatever it is seemed to backfire when it came to money issues he didn't go and pay like give the herbalist whatever it is that's what God is showing me now and I'm seeing that because of that every door in that family everything just closed I'm going to pray Lord wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Rebecca, 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 like Becky, Rebecca, Rebecca, I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You program. came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. You, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they... Are they this is Mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Rebecca. Huh? Rebecca. You are Rebecca, Mama? Okay. This one, too. I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to end this captivity the lady that is going back tap her just tell her to look at me just look at me it's over now in Jesus name all of you are Rebecca my dear salvation is coming and anointing is leaving me to you and it's for your family from next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. 
I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, he, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Um, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimin, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it now here. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it but since since i just saw the fire let me just do what i saw in the spirit the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay i say it again be judged now the spirit of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay open your heart open your heart and pray the spirit of delay be judged now any kind of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay be judged now be judged now be judged now breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you. That makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not. There is something. There's a spirit in you. That attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again, and this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there, you can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus, anyone from that region, that's the region the anointing of the Spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions, let God's people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave, 
the spirits of ancestry I curse you by the God of heaven Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. Please lift your hands. We'll pray for the sick shortly. But there are people here. Why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing. I just saw it. I don't know where they are. They are in almost every overflow. There are representations. Lord Jesus, anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing, let that anointing come. This is your moment now. Receive it now. Ordained by God. To receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing. To transport the power of God. From the throne to their lives. Receive that anointing right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama. Come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension, just hold on. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama, in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace, the grace in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you, just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, 
Please, you stand to receive it, eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, I your talked father, to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing? Yes. All these people, they are, leave them. Their loved ones are... Just find out once there. Don't please. If, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We are going to pray generally. If you if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in law. Your in law. Yes, sir. What do you mean your in law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother yes, missing since when? 2014. 2014. Yes. They've not seen him. Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. Hold on, Mama. Your, ch your child is alive. This boy, you see, are they twins or is he the same person? This one. He's, he's the only one. What but happened to him? He, he left school. I put him in APU, he refused. Polly, he refused. He's busy taking drugs, going about lying to people that his parents are dead. All over times, they call me in the police station or your state, but I caught that he's arrested. I don't know how they set him free at times. You see, our, honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. That's all. Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU, he left the school and go away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they were they smoking did, Igbo. Police came and drugs. packed them with his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama. Let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see. When you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here, right now seated in this program you love god but that what what they, they call it codeine again uh, mama 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 don't worry it's, it's 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 okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them 100 naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it. Let me tell you, there is none of those boys that is bad in himself. There is none of those girls that are bad in themselves. It's the influence of spirits. Nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day. Mama, you have come for miracle service. God will do something about your situation. 
Who is this, my brother? It's my mom, younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother. Yes, for missing. over ten years we have not seen him. Ten years, yes, you've sir. not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warri. Yeah. Okay. From Delta State. From Delta State. Okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about twenty years ago. We really forget forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying, everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, may they be reconnected back to you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th, don't forget, write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking that one with you yes come where are you coming from Benway Benway State look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while I was looking I just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see it was something else but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. she just came quietly standing and this I would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if God is not in the place in the name of Jesus I'm seeing you cough I'm seeing her cough that's what I'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough I don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of Jesus Christ Shatos Katos Kabarandushki Anakaladia 
Karus Kadi Prehaski Diabali. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch. He's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life. You can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship. Everything goes down. And she knows she loves God. But if you are not discerning, you will now call the poor girl a witch. And everybody will start running away from her. She's not a witch. There is just a challenge. And then if you also say she's alright like that and somebody marries her, that guy's life will be torn into pieces. This is the testimony of so many families. It's an uncomfortable truth, but it's true. Human beings carry spirits. They carry presence. Father, liberty for her. The devil is already... Ah. Someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen I want you, if you are coming here to be prayed for, come full of faith. You don't have to say what is wrong with you. If you are not asked, don't worry. And all of us who are going to pray for the sick, we are going to make this very fast. Are we together? Now, um, as always, overflow one and part of overflow two. Part of overflow two. You will come in here, come and stand in front here. Uh, no, no, no main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a God that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many PR department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very we're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for. We may not have time to take testimonies. We are just going to pray very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Okay, let's see. Um, Ejimi, Ejimi and Benga, overflow three. Two of you can go to overflow three. Um, let's see. Pastor Alpha and Promise, overflow one outside. Pastor Femi and Kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray I'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of Jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick 
deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name please make sure while we are praying the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it we'll be very very fast so that we we'll finish on time thank you Jesus you're the name above every other name hail Yahweh great Yahweh you're the name above every other name great Yahweh great
every height in must come down every stronghold shall be broken It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online, connect by faith. I'm praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, 
In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. Sharp crack out of Shigari Bala. Zebra teka teka te proto superabash. And teka toko to soto parakato shepre teka desh. Kalabara laba senya laba laramos. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders. Breakthroughs. Impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf. And I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. Lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now. We're rounding up. The miracle service is not complete. If you don't receive a prophetic word. Prophecy is powerful. It's powerful. It creates. I release testimonies to your life. Let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it. I release testimonies to your life. 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 The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time Otherwise, it will cost you. I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. Let it happen to you. Even within 24 hours, let there be that. Year. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight.
where you have been despised I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now anyone here trusting God for a job for you or for your loved ones between now and the next miracle service return with your testimony return with your testimony return with your testimony every challenge plaguing your family not just you a family thing everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is I stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names I bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting God for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances I agree with you and I release my faith May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work, the grace for performance, I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, may it be named a month of strange miracles, strange wonders, strange miracles, strange wonders, strange miracles, strange wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, for some of you, as you sleep, may my God show you the secrets of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction, in the name of Jesus, every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you, I declare that let it be so for you. Revelation after revelation. Finally, whoever needs to arise and help you. They already have the capacity. All they need is the willingness. I pray for you. Let me tell you, breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you. Your helper has the means, but he needs to have the heart. Some have the heart, but they don't have the means. You need both. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus. That any man and woman positioned around you that has the ability to help you. I pray that God will put it in their hearts to help you. I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters. I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act. Because some of you have divorced this book. Not willingly, but by reason of the operation of spirit. The only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia. Right now, fall in love with this Bible. Fall in love with the word of God. An appetite for the word of God I release upon you. Every kind of spiritual laziness. You say, I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I curse that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. We declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. 
we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You're saying, man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him second category of people man of God I love Jesus with all my heart but I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if God does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium I'd like you to walk out here quickly overflow three I'd like you to run to your projector stand very quickly I'm counting one to five and we're done one God bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace. To obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. Please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever I belong to Jesus I declare that I'm a child of God the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted Jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them I pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, 
I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert. All of you, there will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.